Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video, and today I'm playing uh, Grixis Delver, um, revisiting that archetype. Um, currently, blue-black, either Scam or Shadow, is just everywhere and very popular, and is I think has taken the the crown as the dev like the quote-unquote best uh, tempo deck in the format. Um, I've not really taken to that deck uh, I mean it's it's uh, it's very good but it's not something that I've really felt like playing instead I wanted to play this deck that I had some good fortune with uh, a few weeks ago uh, top 8 at a challenge which was cool um, made very few changes um, and so let's talk about those or let's talk about the deck and I think first of all I think having a tempo deck that plays red and has access to lightning bolt it is pretty appealing in a in a world where your opposing tempo decks are like frequently dealing like eight to ten damage to themselves like between reanimating like reanimating a grief and a troll is ten damage Re like reanimating a troll and, and casting a thought sees is eight damage so i think like having reach in the form of burn uh, like bolts is pretty cool uh, I also think that sort of increases the the bowmaster uh, lethality, so to speak, a little bit. Um, so, uh, what else? Well, I think um, I think we want unholy heat. I have one in the main, and one in the sideboard. Ideally, I probably want two in the main, but I'm not sure of what to cut. Like brazen borrower comes to mind, but I just really don't want to have like no like no copies of this creature. Um, so, because, like, uh, Unholy Heat, if, if you have Delirium, it, it kills uh, the Troll, which is really good. It kills, like, some amount of the time it kills um, a Murktide region, so. Yeah, but, uh, and then, you know, in the sideboard, we have some different, some different choices here. Uh, Court of Cunning is just, like, a, a decent sort of anti-control card that punishes decks with no creatures. Uh, so also like some combo decks really don't like this, like Doomsday. Uh, and I, I think probably most combo decks, but like if if you're adding a three drop enchantment to to beat combo, uh, it it has to be pretty good. Null Rod is just good versus all like artifact combo decks. There are quite a few of those, eight cast stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I think this is, like, the all-time low that Pyroblast has been at in my time playing Legacy because of Bowmasters and Troll, uh, Troll of Casa Doom. So I'm fine having just three of those. Um, I think at some point it may be worth talking about if, if three should become two, but I don't know. And then we have a Hydroblast, uh, like, pr like Moon Stompy is a, is a, is a deck. The, nice to clip, like, Clean Answer, uh, like a Fable of the Mirror Breaker or... Caves of Chaos Adventure or whatever. Um, of course, those decks frequently play Chalice, but yeah, we can't do everything. Um, have this uh, neat card that you know exiles uh, the One Ring or pings a Bowmaster, uh, and just like can exile like Caldra or whatever. So it's quite versatile. But enough about that. So I'm just gonna go and jump into a league on the play for round number one. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, the Bloodstained Mire will give away that we're Grixes, even if I fetch Volcanic, which I am going to. But I'm gonna, not gonna pass on this turn one Delver with Force Backup. This is close to being like an ideal Delver hand, I think. Like ideal, ideal, ideally, this one, one of these Bloodstained Mires is a Daze. Uh, but uh, that that's greedy. But yeah, this this hand will scale in awesomeness depending on whether or not this wasteland finds a target like if our opponent is a basic lands playing person like if they go basic planes plow is probably one of the things i'd least like to see happen seat of the synod okay well that can be wastelanded yep i kind of want to see emery here to be honest there she is emery's gonna take a bolt like nobody's business and wow emery hit wasteland what madness. Um, okay, well, let's let's see if we flip here. 
the Delver. We do, and there's days. Oh, sweet days. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna put, try and put this player into the dirt here, remove their emery, remove their land. Well, they saw days, so they knew that like pl uh, force was not a, a move for them. Wow, look at this Delver grossness coming together. Like, if we daze something or force it, then we can like Merc Tide. Well, not daze, if we force something this turn, we can Merc Tide, which will then only be a 5-5, five five, but still. <laughs> wow, okay. Opponent concedes. I guess it's funny they didn't burn off some some of their baubles. Maybe they had like Mox Opal and we're just like, I could just daze that. I don't know. But if they had Bobble, why not play it before? Okay, anyways, so we want Meltdown, we want Little Rod, we want Cast into the Fire. Do we want anything else? I think Pyroblast is mid, because they are like, uh, they have all their, they have Chalice and stuff. But um, on the other hand, like it's a pretty clean answer in a, in a counter war. So maybe, how about those four cards come in? And I think maybe I'm okay cutting Thoughtseize in the Chalice uh, matchup. Also, I don't know, like it's hard because there's a lot of one-drops here, but uh, I think maybe Unholy Heat. I mean, Unholy, Unholy Heat is, is fine. Bowmaster seems great because of all their baubles, so... And maybe I want to cut one bobble since I'm bringing in Null Rod. I don't know. So, let's try this. Is there anything I'm missing? Any obvious thing here? I guess... Graftigger's Cage stops Emery, but... Doesn't stop anything else, I think? And, I like, is a no-go with Chalice? Surgical Extraction doesn't seem like a card that's going to... Pay, pay me off so I'm gonna try this I think what I'm most unsure about if I is if I should be bringing in more um, more pyroblast effects yeah I'm gonna keep this no blue mana is awkward and they did show us wasteland but uh ancient tomb okay if they go chalice here I'm gonna let it resolve patchwork automaton huh that probably is gonna be a bit of a problem but I don't know if it's one of those it's worth a force of will problem. I think I am going to force this. Call me crazy. I'm going to keep hold of the Brazen Borrower. Yeah, I think like the reason I'm forcing is because I'm kind of banking on the automaton sort of being what their hand was about. They only played one bobble, but they could have had more. I don't know. Maybe they would have played those. Um, hmm. So we either wasteland this ancient tomb, or we aim for the bowmasters. Let's uh, let's sneak a peek at what they have coming here. Thought monitor. Okay. So I think I am gonna hope I'm not getting wastelanded here and then uh, I, I keep bolt open and then I have my, my bowmasters coming next turn oh second land is, is pretty good for us no play from the opponent surely they wouldn't have like um, like hull breacher or, or something I'm gonna pass here I'm not gonna wasteland because I, I want to bowmasters I think but I also want to be able to bolt in case they have like hull breacher into echo of Eons or something Psy Master Thopterist is a rather annoying card, I'm not going to lie. So maybe I do hold off Bowmasters here, and then I like Bowmasters plus Bolt Psy on my turn. That's a, that's a little bit annoying, not going to lie. But like Psy just making infinite 1-1 one, one flyers is a pretty annoying thing. We have to hope they don't have a... Uh, a force effect here. I suppose I could pass onto their turn in case they have like uh yeah, I th that gives them fluster storm though. Would they bring in fluster storm? But we can beat fluster storm if we just bolt first. So I think I am going to I'm going to do that. 
this is somewhat of a blowout if they if they force here then it's sort of a two for two because um, then our bolt sort of did nothing so let's hope they don't force if they do well that's not so good all right opponent concedes that felt uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how, wh what to say. That was, uh... Okay, so they show us this hand. They have their own Bowmasters, okay. I mean, do you really concede here? You can, uh, take a bunch of damage and dismember this Bowmasters, and then your... Then your Thought Monitor. No, I guess because they have no real artifacts. Well. Good deal. Alright, cool. On to round number two. Round number two on the play once again against uh, a transformer. It appears. Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep this right. No real threat, which is not the greatest. But um, and now the question is, uh, do I bobble myself to get the scry? Or do I bobble them? I think I probably don't bobble them right now. Like, there's a lot of scam stuff going on. I don't want to just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so they are a blue fetch land player. I think I am going to bobble myself now to see if I want to draw this. Yeah, sure. That seems good. Orcish Bowmasters. Bow mastering it up. Wow, double bow masters. Go figure. Okay, so let's uh, actually hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I just bow master now? Nah. Maybe I bow master now. There's no days. I actually really like that. And I mean, if they have, um, if they have a force then I'm pretty stoked about that. If uh, if they just untap, or rather get a bolt and bolt it, well, I mean, I have another one. Okay. No wasteland target. It's getting plowed. Looks like it. Oh, okay. Lauren re revealed. Cool. This smells like a, uh, a control deck, though. And also, like, my wasteland isn't going to have a lot of joy here. Okay, I think I'm gonna swing here. And while I would love to brainstorm, I also would love to keep open Bowmaster number two. So I think I'm just gonna make my fetch land, my, my sad little fetch land, land drop and go. They have wasteland, that's so interesting. What deck is this? Okay, I think I'm going to end of turn brainstorm. Or am I? Would a deck playing Wasteland also play like um, what's it called? Supreme Verdict? Unlikely, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm actually just gonna change my plans here in second Bowmasters, get the clock on. This sort of lowers ping A1 toughness creature equity, but I don't, like, maybe aside from Snapcaster Mage, I'm more getting like Stoneforge Mystic vibes over here. So they could plow and brainstorm to get in between my bowmasters kind of th kind of thing. Oh, wasteland, huh? Why do you not wasteland here? I'm going to brainstorm. So if they have like <laughs> Hull Breacher, I have Unholy Heat. But then like they have seven cards. Oh, I don't hate this uh this brainstorm or this Force of Will. What do I get rid of here? Maybe a brainstorm and and the heat, and then like um, we, if they have, well, if they have Snapcaster, we have third Bowmasters. But I think I am gonna save that one, not overcommit. Another Lauren revealed. Okay. I keep. I, I feel like something scary is is going to happen eventually from from opponent. But uh, ooh, Tundra. That that can be wastelanded. Okay, so there was a Supreme Verdict. That's very interesting. Okay. I um, think I am actually going to cast my uh, Brazen Borrower here. 
Um, let's get this volcanic. Because I do kind of want to get like get the beats on here. Ah, uh, bolt is good. Now we're getting into the this phase of the game where we will have to try and see if we can uh, like beat beat their uh, them stabilizing. I am going to fight over this. And then I am going to play this main phase um, to not have them have like spell pierce or whatever online force. I'm gonna. I'm gonna force back. Yeah. So they go to six here. So it's a standstill deck. That's the deck that has wasteland and basic planes and basic island. Please, not another verdict. If they have it, I would imagine they just drew it because why else would you force there? What's this? Oh, prismatic ending. Sure. And so I'm going to attack first. And then I'm going to bolt now. Like, uh, if they have uh, Force of Negation, it'll cost them two cards. And if I wait, they'll just, until they're upkeep, they'll have mana to just hard cast it. So, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, they concede. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, cool. That's a uh, that's a scary matchup, I think. Uh, like blue white control, blue white X control. So um, glad to take game one there. Okay, we want the pyroblast for this matchup. So they're a standstill deck, which means they're also an Ursus Saga deck. Which makes me wonder if. Uh, If I want something like Meltdown, maybe. They're also going to be a Shark Typhoon deck. I was going to say, like, this Court of Cunning is pretty good, but it's it's less appealing versus, uh, like, a deck that has Shark Typhoon because they can steal the, the Monarchy. Um, is there anything else, anything obvious I'm sort of blanking on here? Does Plague Engineer do anything for us here? Could they randomly have like monastery mentor probably not um okay so i think these four cards come in unholy heat could come out uh maybe a bobble is not really that amazing versus standstill but i don't know uh maybe we can trim a daze on the draw and maybe a bolt Although I, I do really like having the reach. But um, I also don't think like Bolt is going to act like removal very often. Okay, uh, this seems like a pretty easy keep. So, depending on what happens on turn one, I probably go Bloodstain, Mire, Fetch, Underground Sea, cast Thoughtseize. And then next turn, if they don't wasteland me, I can go Volcanic Island and then tap C to play Delver and protect it with Red Blast and Force, although probably it won't come to that. Okay, looks like they want to brainstorm here. Sure. I agree with this opponent's choice of basic island and brainstorm art. These Guru Islands are so sick. For anyone who is unaware, this island in paper, whoops, ooh, Dovin's Veto, and Wasteland, ooh, be still my heart. Um, well, there's Verdict and Plow. We're not really casting Verdict anytime soon. I think I'm going to take the Plow. Um, but yeah, these, these this is a, a real card in paper, and it's called a Guru Island. And there are five, well, of one of each basic, and it has this sort of compass kind of thing looking over the horizon line and and they are insanely expensive i don't know the story about how like where they came from uh, okay so there's a wasteland going after my underground sea i'm gonna be a sad panda about that but yeah it is what it is uh luckily right now we don't have any more black cards there was a pause there 
Interesting. Lauren Reel. Okay, so that was a card. So we have perfect information until their next draw step. So they're going for the white sources, the white source here, trying to get up to that supreme verdict. Okay, so I want to see a flip here. That's a flip. Great. And much like a lot of cards, I would say maybe anything that isn't a cantrip, like them knowing about what we draw from the Delver is kind of a detriment. Like, you don't want your opponent to know there's a bolt. That is one of the things they have to sort of figure out. All right, they play Tundra, so their hand is one unknown in these five cards, so they can, like, they can verdict next turn. So I'd like to see what, what the opponent is up to. They have a Timeless Dragon coming. That's a good card. Um, kind of feeling bad about this meltdown. Ooh, wasteland. One turn too late. Do you really? Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, actually, hang on. So they drew, drew another tundra, and they and they have the timeless dragon. That's very interesting. I think I'm just gonna float out this wasteland to be able to brazen borrower and stuff. I can't take them off Verdict, and they still have a Volcanic Island, so I think I'd rather actually kill the Volcanic Island than... Yeah. Is this Timeless Dragon, I would imagine? Getting planes cycled? I mean, I would absolutely love it if they were to uh, hard cast this, uh, or it, it eternalize it, I suppose, is the vernacular. Okay, so they don't not gonna play the borrower here or the f the bolt I don't hate this land I'm worried about a flash creature here uh, like like a, a shark which would be a reason to just leave open five mana or maybe they want they want to be able to eternalize oops, with uh, counter spell and Dovin's veto backup which is fair Right. So now when I when I brazen when I th petty theft, they will Dovin's veto. But then at least the Dovin's veto is out of their hand. Uh, such an annoying card. What happens if I just if I just uh, cast the brazen borrower? They can't. This is a non-creature spell, right? Yeah creature spell. So I do that. I attack. They eat one of my creatures. They drop to four. I have Bolt, which they can just do in Zvito, huh? Mm, yeah, I'm beginning to feel a little bit bad about this. Hmm. <laughs> I think maybe I'm supposed to, to get that do in Zvito out of their hand here. Give them a chance to, to misplay. Um... But they will absolutely uh, bounce. Uh, sorry, uh, protect this. They should. I don't understand, or I don't. I, th I don't think there's much to think about here because obviously not knowing the the last card in their hand. But um, if if you let this happen, then a I I can get in with Delver or Insectile Aberration, and you know about the Bolt, which puts you in at an effective one. Are they saving the Vita, the Doan's Vito for the Delver? Or, sorry, for the Lightning Bolt, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I somewhat expect that. Uh, Brainstorm is, I think, just what the Doctor ordered. <sighs> um, these Wastelands, eh? That was a... <laughs> it may have been what the Doctor ordered, but that's a pretty bad... Bad couple of... Uh, that's a bad Brainstorm. Yikes. So if I, I think, uh, do I wasteland them here? Like if they draw a Nurse's Saga, then it, that's just so bad. But at least if I wasteland them, the two Tundras, they can't like verdict and do other stuff. I think that's sort of the play I, I'm going to end up making here. And I think I'm probably going to regret it, but uh, yeah, we shall see. 
Um, yeah, this is not where the, the tempo deck wants to be, like passing without attacking. But uh, that is what it is. There's the Volcanic, and I don't really have another effective removal for that Timeless Dragon, unfortunately. Like, I guess Orcish Bowmasters is a really good draw here. Like so. Um, so I'm just going to pass. And I think, like, Bowmasters prompting them, forcing them to, to use that Supreme Verdict is interesting. So, like, what happens here? If I Bowmasters at end of turn, they go to six, then I untap, I attack, they eat the Delver, they go to four, and we're sort of still just chilling. Uh, yeah, I don't hate the land here. Not counting any more, any further uh, Dovin's Vetoes. I feel like I have some pretty good tools to force a um, an Orcish Bowmasters through. But oh, okay, Mystic Sanctuary. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna Bowmasters now. Yeah, I'm gonna Bowmasters now. So if they want to, like, counterspell this, I'll get some equity out of my Red Blast before the Doin's Veto can enter. This will drop them to 5. And then I have them at 2 with Lightning Bolt, which means drawing a second Lightning Bolt seals the deal. But they are at a point where they can, they can comfortably cast both Supreme Verdict and keep open Dovin Speedo, so that's, that's somewhat tragic for our hero here. Counterspell, okay, so their hand is Verdict plus three cards. Two cards, I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's go! Okay, I'm gonna, so spell, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna Force of Will the Counterspell. And let's see if they have um, if they have one more effect here. Uh, no, I don't want to pay two mana for the spell pierce, and I. So this also means that they aren't drawing a land to Supreme Verdict. I guess they could like the last last card in hand. We don't know about it. could be a, a a land, I suppose. But. Tell you what, I think the time to lightning bolt is now. Uh, yeah, I think so. Before they draw that veto, that Danny DeVito. Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? It's their turn. <laughs> okay, well, you might as well attack your buddy. What? Why didn't they cast their supreme verdict? I just feel like I made a huge mistake, and then my opponent made a huge mistake. But um, maybe I'm missing something. I guess you eat the Delver here, and then if you have a removal spell for one of the orcs, that does it. Yeah. It's this, like, uh, ah. Ah, oh, you have the Wandering Emperor, sure. Wow. Uh, I made a, an extremely poor decision there. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just, I, I wasn't thinking about it, basically. They even get to gain life here. Yeah, I think I think this ends the game now for uh, in in their favor. So they didn't misplay by not verdicting. I'm not sure if I play differently, but like I they had all their mana tapped. I kind of lost track of where I was and was thinking I was going to get the turn with all all their land stop. Um, mm, yeah, I think I just I concede here. They have a Dovin's veto for like a lightning bolt and. Yeah, eh, yeah, is what it is. Let's. Uh, I've also like spent a lot of clock yapping away here, so not sure if I want the days, the fourth days on the play. Maybe. I think like. Okay, so the meltdown felt quite useless. Which, like, also, like, it, it kind of felt like there weren't sagas in them, but can you build a... 
can you build a standstill leg in 2023 and not have a resistor in it? It seems very, very mysterious. Right on. Okay, let's hope for a good one. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent looking hand right there. I uh, just really hope they don't have one of their eight plows, uh, like source of plowshares and prismatic endings. Um, I think if they do, I don't, I can't afford to force of will. I suppose I have that, but I don't know. I mean, that's tough. Yeah, it looks like they are making a turn one play, which, no, it's an island. All right. Hydroblast, please no. Okay, brain, what? Brainstorm turn one. Maybe they're setting up a terminus. Like, obviously not for for next turn, but for the turn after that. That's an interesting, uh, quite unexpected brainstorm. Okay. So I'm going to uh, ponder here. Get my surveil on. Yeah, I think Wasteland can go to the graveyard. Uh... I think I like this Delver actually trying to like I'm gonna try and win the game before my opponent gets to like Supreme Verdict. That uh, doesn't mean I'm gonna commit a third creature, but uh, but uh, a second one I think is fine. And I have double force to sort of protect myself here, but we'll see. Looks like a, pl a prismatic ending is coming. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, Delver Flipper. Yeah. So I think I'm going to, depending on what happens next turn, I'm going to plow into f their turn and then I'm going to cast a Murktide, which will be a 5 5. These Lorian reveals are just cramping up my style here because of Supreme Verdict. Let's bolt. I kind of feel bad about like putting that wasteland into the graveyard. If I don't draw wasteland here, I'm not going to... Okay, well if they plow, then maybe AI will... Huh. So, we're at a crossroads here. We can make a 5-5 five five Merktide, and then if they verdict, it's a pretty good chance we just lose but I'm also not loving just passing the turn here so I am gonna I'm gonna hold up uh, representing pyroblast if they just have like a second plow that's yeah oh I, I think I made a punt not putting in my uh, court of cunning which was the card I I also kind of wanted to put in so, do you have the verdict? What's the verdict? Okay, it's a source of plowshares from the graveyard. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna force the plow and be closer to casting second Murktide. Cause they're at seven now. I mean, this obviously runs right in, straight into a, uh, a, a Dovin's Veto, which is... Not great. And they wait for our upkeep. So if I have to spend mana, I'll spend mana on my turn. That's smart. Okay. They have second plow. Wow. All the plows. And now we're in the in the dirt. So I can get to six mana with this fetch lance. So that's one too too few. I'm gonna play that though. If I draw another land, I'm gonna I'm gonna slam Merktide. So I think I pyroblast nearly anything that is put on the stack that can be pyroblasted. Uh, okay, Chandler is not a bad draw. And maybe I'm supposed to fetch first because now like they can get under a pyroblast if they time things correctly. But I don't know if that's even gonna be relevant here. Snapcaster Mage. Okay, I mean. Remember when I said I was going to pyroblast anything? 
Snapcaster Mage is a very relevant card to, to Pyroblast here. And if if they have an answer for this, at least I'll get a surveil. Yeah, I don't want don't want another land. Fluster storm. Okay, sure. So they get uh Nope, not gonna pay. So they do get to uh plow my uh my friend here, the Dragon's Race Chandler. And I'm not feeling super confident here, but yeah, we'll see. Yep. Yeah, I should have brought in that uh, Court of Cunning, maybe. Although, Snapcaster Mage would have, would have wrecked me there, I guess. Okay. Maybe I float, I suppose. I'm, I'm, I'm usually not that big on, like, floating mana. Uh, but I think the min-max play is to do it. They were obviously like wanting to not get bowmasters. Bowmasters. That's not really a word. But that's obviously reasonable. So, what's my best draw here? Maybe it's like another Pyroblast to. to like. Uh, oops. Sorry. Uh, another Pyroblast here to protect uh, Merktide from like a, a force effect. They also got like Brainstorm locked. There, it seems. Um, I suppose I could brainstorm first. Yeah, maybe I do that. I'll grow the Merktide. And could maybe lure something out of them. Uh... Yeah, probably just go like this. If they have more plow, then I'm sad. But you know, it is what it is. Easy. Easy. All right, three out of, of the four plows are accounted for. Um, I think I fire off this brainstorm now. I know about the bolt, but not the next two cards. So I don't think Daze is going to... Although actually, uh, maybe that was a punt. Maybe Daze would have been better than Bolt. I don't know. But like, they're, they're working their way through this Brainstorm lock. Um, and they do have like four mana Planeswalkers. That, but I still, uh, I don't expect Daze to get like get much going for it here. Okay, let's uh, let's try another Delver here. What's my threat density looking like? I have lost two Dragon's Rage Chandlers, two Merktides, and one Delver. So I have two, three, six creatures, and then the four Bowmasters. Oh, I forgot about those. Not seen a single one of those. So I wonder, the, the big pause on their part, I wonder if that was because they have a counter spell. Uh... Because I'm not sure what else. Okay, what? <laughs> Green mana? This can't be good for me. Why is green in your deck? Um. Okay, it paid off for you not to attack. I think, I think you attacked it right, but I, I don't know. All right, I wasteland the green. Don't know what it's about, but don't like it. And yeah, I don't know. Do you have it for, like, carpet? Or life from the low, maybe? Yeah, that would make sense. Since you're a wasteland deck. Okay. Worried about the Bowmasters, huh? Come on, flippy flip. Little baby flip. Nope. No flippy. Uh, play this out anyways, because we get a scry next turn then. Okay. Another wasteland. I still think I have my badlands. Fetch out a black source. I think if I had played a bit more efficiently here, the clock may have... I may have been able to get the clock um, into my favor, but uh, that's not happening now. I'm, like, more than... Like, I have less than half of the time the opponent has. Okay. Can I get a flip? Mm. 
Merktide Regent. Okay, I'm actually going to draw that and try and play a 4 4 here. Yeah, okay. I think I think my read risk was correct, but I don't know. I think they had the the counter spell for the Delver and just decided it wasn't worth it. Uh Lorian Real, okay. Interesting you wouldn't save the one mana. Maybe they think I'm I'm holding on to a daze here. Or do they know about the bolt? I don't know, I think that was the previous game. Okay, Volcanic Island, sure. Maybe there's like a red Red Blast in my future. Four or five mana. This is a sh oh, now they do. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything. You have five cards. That probably is going to win you the game. Come on, Delver. Yay! So let's uh, brainstorm here. Mm. I, th I kind of want all but days here. Uh, I do kind of like not giving them like red mana here in case they drew a blast. And I'm not sure that um, this is a correct play, but I do kind of feel like bolting them before, like, Dovin's Veto t is uh, turned on, just in case they have run out of answers to Delver, which I can't for the life of me. Imagine they have, but, you know, you never know. We have a, uh, a Badlands... No, sorry, a uh, Pyroblast on top, in case we want to draw that. They have so many things that answer this, like uh, Emperor, or the Wandering Emperor, and there she is. Ugh. Yep, I gained some life, that's so rude. And once more, I think I'm about to concede to the Wandering Emperor. Uh, let's uh, draw our last Black Source, hope to draw Bowmasters, and for it to be good enough, or like brainstorm into Bowmasters, I'd kind of not hate that. Oh wow, sick read, or sick, sick play, oh, that's really good, because they can wasteland my last black source. Um, yeah, I'm going to pack it in. That's uh, nothing. Uh, I think all of my lands are accounted for, right? Let's see, there's an underground sea in my graveyard. Three lands there. Uh, two underground seas. So I think there's one volcanic. But, I mean, who am I kidding? Uh. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just uh, play one more turn. But we have been ground into the dust by this uh, by this standstill deck. Alright, so no more black sources. We cannot cast any of our Bowmasters. Where are we to draw them? Okay. That'll do it. Alright, GG's opponent. On the play for round number three. Alright. Uh, let's hope for a good one. I'll keep this. I think I'm going to ponder... Uh, Ponder off underground sea probably. Keep open that um like make make out like I'm a combo deck. I don't know, maybe that's dumb. Like if I draw a uh, dragon's for Chandler. But hopefully like I'll I'll get some, some more lands. 
Uh, I am going to bobble my opponent. Under Mountain Adventurer. Good to know. So we're up against like an initiative stompy style deck. Uh, maybe I just, <laughs> I just get a Volcanic Island here. I think I have more relevant red cards than than black versus that sort of deck. Really want a Force of Will here. But I'll take a daze. Yeah, I'll take a daze. I mean, Brazen Borrower is a little bit of a an insurance versus uh, the initiative, or like versus any kind of any kind of thing there. But I, I I am just royally screwed if they drop like a Blood Moon. If they're able to Blood Moon me here through a daze, then I'm I'm just dead. Well, there's Chromox. I suppose I, I could be Wasteland, or uh, uh, what do you call it? Dazing that. But uh, they could also have, like, uh, like Spirit Guide, so I don't know. I also don't really want to do that. Well, there was a Spirit Guide. Seems like a Chalice. I think we daze that. Hope they don't have another spirit guide. Okay, looks like they didn't. And I think I um So what happens here? If they play this next turn. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play Delver here. They this probably they probably have Ancient Tomb and they're able to play this next turn. But then I'm gonna make sure my brainstorm well, I'm I'm gonna make sure I, I flip uh, Delver by casting Brainstorm in my upkeep, and then I, at least I will get to steal the initiative. I guess uh, maybe no, that's dumb. That's dumb because I want to. Oh, Minsk and Boo, shit. That's uh, that's worse, right? So I take four here. Oh, that was bad. I think I probably do try and make sure Delver flips, which I've, right now I can't. Um, okay, well, I mean, at least we can finish off Minsk, but it will cost us. It will, it will cost us wastelanding, and will mean that they get to resolve their under mountain adventure. Uh, but I think that's just the, the cost of doing business right now. So I'm attacking uh, Minsk and Boo. And then I'm gonna fetch a Volcanic Island. And kill him. And then next turn we we have a few options available to us. Let's do... Okay, so they found camera souls, but we don't have a counter spell right now, so it doesn't matter. This only, in quotation marks, makes, like, mana ramps, right? Wait, what's all red? Wait, is this, uh... Fury, okay. So Fury kills our Delver, and then... They take us down to nine. Or they said down to ten, I mean. One, two, three, four. So we can make right now we can make a Merc Tide a uh, a seven seven. We can also have Delirium. Okay. So if Merc Tide is to arrive as a big as a big dude. What what does it say? Elemental, okay. Quite a few options here. I think, I think right now I'm supposed to just make Murktide as a seven-seven, and then wasteland their Taiga. Uh, oh, not no, not Delver. Sorry. Let's try this again. So, lightning bolt, brainstorm, daze, ponder, and land. That way we still have land artifact creature for delirium. And uh, let's. Uh, Let's kill the taiga. 
So we need an instant into the graveyard right now. Boo, Chrome Mox, but that's only three mana if unless they imprint. So they imprint this, so what's their third? Fable, okay. Yeah. So that was a good draw. So we can we can bolt the Fury and then unholy heat the boo if we want to. I don't think I hate that. We could also like get Dragon's Reach Chandler into play. That's actually probably better. And uh let's uh Actually, yeah, let's do this. We'll attack with the uh, Murktide. And then on their turn at some point, preferably after they announce attackers, we'll Lightning Bolt the Fury, which will grow our, our uh, DRC and we can eat up the Goblin Shaman. So they can discard their, the card they just drew for turn if they want to. They do, because they drew land, so that's good for them. Okay, so they attack. So they get a treasure, but I'm gonna kill the uh, the Fury here. Get a Surveil trigger. Yeah, we can, uh, I guess we're not like, like getting another land wouldn't be the worst, but I think I'm more about velocity right now. Okay. So they get a treasure. Like if they have a, a four drop in hand, that's pretty scary now. Okay. Looks like they didn't. Second Chandler is good. Yeah. I think we are suddenly, oops, looking somewhat promising. So I think I play the the second DRC here, and then we have Unholy Heat to blast something if uh, something scary comes down, rather than just having... Like, we can both chump block, which I think is just perfectly fine to do. Here comes some green mana. Once upon a time, okay. I leave them with two mana and a card in hand. All right, cool. They uh, didn't find anything they liked, and Merktide... Tribal Flying gets there. All right, so we want the Hydro Blast. We probably want Submerge. We probably want, like, Forces of Negation. Uh, Null Rod shotting off, like, Chrome Oxen and, and uh, Treasures is not terrible, but it's also not, like, fantastic. Um, Unholy Heat also, like, being able to grow, to, to go after Planeswalkers is maybe okay. So let's say that these are the cards that we kind of like, these six cards. And then probably Days is somewhat weak here. At least we can shave a couple, maybe three. And I also don't think I really want Thoughtseize here, especially not on the draw. And maybe we shave a Bowmasters. Is there anything else? Like, cards I'm not overly enamored with are Mishra's Bauble, but maybe that's wrong because, like, getting Delirium we just saw was a pretty big deal. And I guess, like, I don't know, Lightning Bolt? Like, stuff that dies to Chalice is... This deck is going to have Magas of the Moon, and boarding out three dazes and bringing in two Force of Negations is kind of bad there. But Magas of the Moon dies to, like, we have six, six like, red spells that can kill it, so I, I hope this is fine. Okay, I am going to keep this hand and completely crumble to a turn one Chalice or a turn one Blood Moon slash Magas of the Moon, but, uh oh well, this is one of those things, this Chalice, yeah. Womp womp. Wait, did I bring in any way to remove an artifact? Did I bring in my meltdown? I forget now. 
Nope. Charles is here to stay. This uh, instantly feels very bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was uh, probably not the best choice I could have made. I, I could have brought in, like, um, I guess I have, like, um, what you call it. I have the, the thing. Caves, uncountable caves of chaos. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. Yeah, I I have the brazen borrower, but other than that, nothing. I think probably we want to remedy that. I still I'm not in love with days because of spirit guides, but I think maybe I do need to have like a days, and probably the meltdown. Yeah. And what do we cut then? I don't know. Maybe like the submerge is too cute. And one of the bowmasters. I I do actually like bowmasters in most matchups. Just like having that ability to gum up the ground and be random reach. But in terms of like them drawing cards, it's basically only fable, and, and like if if they venture into the dungeon. But at that point, like when they draw a card, it's probably too late. All right, let's have a good one here. Yeah, yeah, this is acceptable. Let's uh, let's just try not to lose to what something backed up by Blood Moon or by Pyroblast and they mulligan the six yeah I guess like if they can power out a an initiative creature on turn one that that's pretty bad for us but uh, I just I need this ponder ideally to find me like a creature and then that's kind of interesting where we, where we go from there but you know, we'll see All right, let's fetch uh, Volcanic Island. We have access to black, and we have, I think, a lot more red cards that we are interested in, in casting. Oh, yeah. This is acceptable. I would prefer not to have to force here, but uh, obviously I, I may have to. Just an uh, innocent wooden foot, wooded foothills, right? So I think I'm I'm just gonna pass here. Um, like even though they aren't casting brainstorm or something where we can get them with bowmasters, them not knowing about it is pretty good in terms of like maybe stealing the initiative. This smells like a once upon a time, uh, once upon a time, right? Fable, huh? Yeah, I think Fable resolves. Fable makes a guy... Chrome Mox. Okay. Alright, so they have three cards left. I'm going to end of turn Bowmasters. And I'm going to try and make that ancient tomb work for me okay so I actually don't think I'm gonna wasteland it but we'll see maybe I'm supposed to like wastelanding that plus bolting the the shaman seems decent come to think of it to kind of try and choke them on mana and if they want to dig with their fable uh, orc is gonna grow Something tells me they have Red Blast, but I, I could be wrong. Just my, my spidey senses are tingling. Or what, Lightning Bolt? Dead. Hmm. I think I'm gonna brainstorm. I actually think I'm gonna counter that. Yeah, especially now that I drew so they have an extra counter spell. I mean, obviously, this is going to cost our uh, 
force of will because we're in our turn. But um, we're drawing a bolt in case they they draw like a something crazy. But so if their hand is soul land plus a four drop, then that's a little bit scary. But like especially oh if they have fury, then that's so bad. Okay, so they just had another dead, uh, whatever. I uh, I don't know. I'm supposed to. Oh, I'm so bad. I, I, I don't know. I kind of just let that happen without forcing. I don't know if I'm supposed to force because that's like a lot of, a lot of stuff I'm, I'm sort of giving up on. But uh, yeah. Uh, womp womp. Yeah, that kind of felt somewhat decisive. Okay, just drawing like removal. Yeah, so we're brainstorm locked with a one one, not ideal. They'll get uh, the shaman thing or the uh, reflection of Kiki Cheeky. We can remove that with our lightning bolt if we want to, which I suppose I do want to. I could have used uh, unholy heat for that, but I would rather I think keep hold of unholy heat to like deal with something bigger. So, beat you down to one, or four one rather. Ah, uh, that like that double dead gone. That was super good. Fury, huh? I mean, okay, so fury comes into play, and then we kill it. Right, I have delirium. Right, creature instant. Uh, land and sorcery, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna two for one myself for this, which I guess is happening because they're killing my token. But that's a one one, so yeah, yeah, whatever. But I am gonna kill this because this is gonna be like a, a three turn clock, which is just too, too, too bad for us. Okay, so we're drawing the underground sea and then next draw step will be live so let's see this, this deck th this game is very much in the balance right now could go either way i'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna force of will a spirit guide brainstorm yes please just don't brainstorm lock me huh okay ah do I risk it this one turn that they cast something super nasty in order to flip the Delver? Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to just hate my life. If, uh... Yeah, because otherwise, like, I would... Delver would not flip off the Bloodstain Arm. Maybe this is insane. This is insane if they, like, slam Minsk and Boo or, like, Fury here. No, not going to trade. I should also... Oh, that was so bad. I should have put back Force of Will. Because at least now if they do something in my upkeep. This is Chalice. Oh, it's another Spirit Guide. Yeah, sure. That's probably fine. Uh, Yes, please. Yeah, no, I should have drawn... I should have put back Force of Will and kept Force of Negation. Because if they were to like cast something like a removal spell on this insectile aberration in my upkeep before my draw step that would be super bad okay so let's see here i go down to 12 11 when i fetch then they go down to three uh i'm gonna try this and hope you don't have red blast okay oh and that uh they tap the ancient tomb so if I get to attack now, then the Ancient Tomb can no longer be tapped. So that's like super, super important. Alright. Lightning Bolt. Ugh. That was not good. Okay, one draw step to rule them all. Yes! Alright, alright. We survived. Uh, awesome, alright. On to round number four. Right on. All the play for round number 
four as well. I think I've been on the play for each round. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's do this. Getting punished for being a Grixis deck here. Like, we want to cast Thought Seizes, obviously, but we also want Dragon's Rage Chandler. I think I actually go for the Chandler here. There's certainly a world where we caught like Thought Seize on turn one off of an Underground Sea. I don't think, however, we could do it off of the Badlands because then, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm actually supposed to do that because then if nothing else, I'll get like surveil like happiness going next turn. Oh well, we'll see. Water grave, okay, so like blue black scam or shadow. So thoughts is oh it's fatal push, sure. Okay. Dub -dub -dub -dub. Where do we go with this? I think I wasteland here and hope that that is good. Sometimes that ends the game, but not often, obviously. Okay, they have wasteland. I think I brainstorm here. Uh, okay. Let's put back Brazen B and. I don't know, like we're gonna draw all but one of these cards. So uh, I guess just Bowmasters. I don't know, maybe Brazen Borrower is better than a redundant Bowmasters, but I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fetch Underground Sea here. So I don't think, I, something tells me they don't have, they either have only like more Wastelands or they just don't have any more lands, but let's see if I'm right about that. Force of Will, Pitching Day is interesting. I hope that means we're not getting, like, griefed or something. Okay, so they had more land. What do you force there? Why do you force there? Do you have, like, creature? It's like, grief and then reanimate here is just super powerful. So maybe it's to protect reanimate. Okay, you ponder. Interesting. Man. It must be like a reanimate or a like bowmasters or something that they're protecting, would be my guess. Ugh. I'd love to have drawn like another land there. Okay. So I suppose I take the reanimate, is that it? Or is it the Bowmasters? So if I take Bowmasters, then they reanimate it for one mana, but it costs them two life. I think I take reanimate because that leaves them, like if they draw like Thoughtseize here or something, then it's pretty annoying. Also like reanimate pr plus uh, the troll is annoying. Okay, so they put the troll. So, what does that mean? They drew another reanimate? That's aggravating. Is that really it? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if we could draw land here, that would be swell. Okay. I guess I'll take a ponder. Gross. Okay, we really need to hit a land. So we go down to 10. Then we force of will going down to 9 on their Bowmasters. Then we draw land and play our own Bowmasters and then bolt that. We have to draw land right now. It's not a land. Yeesh. Okay, well, I mean, I suppose Delver 
which then flips off of a off of a brainstorm hitting a land plus not land plus anything just hitting a land could also be like off of a ponder I'm certainly gonna force this bowmasters and hope that their last card is not relevant path turn okay flip off of a cantrip nope this um This doesn't mean we can like chump block here, but uh, I'm not sure I how much I love that. Oh, really? Please let your last two cards be blanks. All right, so you're at five. But it's still not enough, I don't think. You'll be at f four. Actually, if if this, if I get to live, and then draw like a land, I could bowmasters and bolt for lethal. But what do they do? They shuffled. Okay. Sadly, we're also just like one power short of actually, like trading with the the beast here. Okay. All right. This doesn't trample, right? Come on, pass the turn. And land. Not that land. Oh, aggravating. Damn. Okay. Well, that was close. Obviously, you know, if their hand is days or, or force, then it doesn't matter. But uh, I don't think they weren't really playing like it is or like it was. All right. Interesting game. Let's see here. I think the Plague Engineer is good because it can name Orc. The uh, Cast into the Fire is neat because it can ping an Orc and a friend. Unholy Heat is good. It kills Orcs. It kills, uh, if it's Delirious, it kills a Troll. I think the Court of Cunning is interesting. They don't have Red Blasts. We do have Red Blasts. Is that interesting? Do we want to kill like a Merktide, but not much else? Maybe. So I don't want Thoughtseize here. And uh, I probably don't really want Force of Will. So maybe we want a second Red Blast. I think I'm pretty happy with everything else. Uh, yikes, Mulligan. Oh no, even more, yikes, even more mulligan. Okay, keep this, but kind of sad. Um, yeah, probably Merc, Murky Merc. And I'm gonna get a Volcanic Island here and play out the DRC. Oh really? So I think I brainstorm in my upkeep to get the surveil. Also, I, I do have a feeling a Bowmasters is about to come down next turn, so I don't want to get stuck with this brainstorm. If they want to daze me here, I'm somewhat okay with that. Okay, that's uh, into the graveyard. Unfortunately, not really getting us closer to Delirium. That's good though. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, let's draw the Delver. I mean, right now the uh, the Bowmasters, if they do have that, is um, what what do I want to say is uh, gonna kill one of these creatures. Regardless.
regardless. So let's. Um, I mean, for a five card mulligan, this did somewhat leave us with uh, cards that, if they were to not, uh, what do you call it? Like it, it, it really depends on the the composition of their hand. Like if if their hand is creatures but not removal, then me having like creatures as well is pretty good. Okay, I'm actually going to attack first. If they want to, if they have like fatal push here, I want them to, I don't know, maybe use it before they know what else is coming. So we're drawing Unholy Heat, which will like flip our Delver, and um, if Delver is around, and is also a good removal card. So I'm not going to bobble right now. Anyways. Because I don't want, like, they're a discard deck. I'd rather them not, like, have the choice between Murktide and uh, Unholy Heat. Okay, it looks like we're getting a... Oh, this card, sure. I was going to say, it looks like we're getting a Float Blue Mana Daze. We may, may still get the Daze. So they get Watery Grave. Brave. All right, let's go. I think I do want to see what they are drawing here. Thoughtseize. You don't say. Okay. Well, if they Thoughtseize right now, my uh, DRC is going to be uh, have uh, Delirium. Is what I was. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, I'm not happy about losing my my Merktide, but um, we are about to have like six power in the air here. Well, I suppose we'll see. See what happens. Hydroblast, you big meanie. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stack it so that I draw the card last uh, and be sure to flip the Delver off of this Unholy Heat. Eh. So, let's see here. I do kind of expect to not get away with this on a mold of five, but yeah, I think it pretty much hinges on whether or not they're able to remove this Delver this or the next turn. After that, it's kind of, you know, close. Okay, more troll cycling. Like, this is one of the reasons I wanted to play Grixis Elver is because I think, like, ooh, shock in the land. Is, like, this deck, they only, they don't play Animate Dead, right? They're paying six life if they won't ever want to have a troll in play. Death Shadow, okay. So Death Shadow is a 3-3. Three, three. The second Death Shadow. Okay. I mean, I can just kill both of these, but that leaves me with no burn. I don't think this deck plays like uh, plays the uh, the thing. The uh, the f uh, oh, sorry, I'm blanking on the name. Street Wraith anymore. I do think I kind of want to kill this. If they force of will this, then that's un unfortunate. But. Uh, it's also unfortunate that I, like, I'm losing my uh, my bolt that could have gone upstairs. So we know about thought sees, right? So I think I, sadly, so let, no. Let's do the math here. I attack them down to seven. They attack me with a. They, they thought sees the unholy heat. Let's say I play that on the DRC. They thought sees the unholy heat. So they are at five. They attack me for eight. I'm at ten. I attack them down to two. They have an 11 11, which kills me. So I think, sadly, I have to lose my DRC here. 
and uh, hope that Delver gets the job done here from 10. Like, I hope hope they're just sitting on, like, reanimate or something. I suppose reanimate could reanimate our DRC. Okay, there's a brainstorm. Do you thoughts easier and go to five and basically cut a, cut a turn off the clock? If you're them? Well, maybe. Reef. Okay, sure. You, uh... You pitch your Orcish Bowmasters, you get to take my DRC, I leave me with nothing, and if you can remove my Delver, then I'm really screwed. Man, I hope they they have reanimate in hand. And not target my bowma my DRC. Oh, they had the push! No! Death Shadow? Okay, reanimate. Get a 7-7? Seven, seven? Yeah, I wasn't thinking about about uh, Death Shadow. Oh, we lose now. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about Death Shadow when I said I hope they had reanimate. That was, uh, I, I clearly should not have hoped that they had it. Because now they have it. And now I likely lose. What's my best draw here? Probably like Murktide. Shadow is too big for Unholy Heat. Did I board out? Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah. I don't think so, friend. Friendo. What do I need here? Like, if I draw running lightning bolts, that may or may not do it. <sighs> That's not a lightning bolt. Alright. One draw step left. Have to get something down to chump. We have one, two, three, four instant sand or sorceries in the graveyard right now. So a Merc Tide would be a seven seven and would trade with with the dude here. Uh yeah, Delver flips or uh, no, flips. Delver uh chumps. And I think I'm going to keep hold of the Bloodstained Mire because if I draw Brainstorm, like being able to keep two of the three cards is pretty good. Okay. Now, like, any removal spell, including Bowmasters, gets it done for them. Yeah, not feeling super good about this, I have to say. Wasteland. That's also not ideal. All right, GG's opponent, off to the final round. All right, so on the draw for last round, which means my opponent didn't get the memo, I'm, I'm only ever supposed to, to, to be on the play, but I suppose I'll I grudgingly accept. Oh, opponent going to five on the mulligan there. So I'm, I'm dead to turn one combo here, but uh, wow, opponent going to four, what the heck? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. Opponent is mulliganing to three. I don't think I've ever have I've ever had that happen to me in, in like in a game one. If I could be wrong. Okay. They play in marsh flats. I am extremely, extremely curious about what's going on here. Let's, uh, basically right now I feel like I just have to hope they don't concede before I find out a little bit more about what they're doing. Do you concede to the bobble? Yes. Bobble. One card combo. KO. Okay, so opponent went with the marsh flats and then conceded to a bobble and... What Marsh Flats deck would be most likely to mulligan to, to three? I'm guessing like a like a combo deck, probably like like Black Red Reanimator, but um that's quite impressive that they would mulligan to to three. Um so if it is reanimator, 
then I would bring in these four cards. If it's not a graveyard deck, then having these two, like uh, Graph Digger's Cage and Surgical, is pretty bad. But they can trigger uh, Darcy and, and stuff, so it's probably fine. I'm going to cut the Unholy Heat and the Brazen Bee. And a Lightning Bolt and a Mishra's Bottle. Yeah, I'm going to try this. Very weird. Watch it be just like, I don't know, Esper Stoneblade or something, and then that just got like the, the baddest beat in the world by mulliganing the three. I also wonder, like, well, not wonder, I think probably conceding is fine the way they did it there, but uh, I do think that, like, they don't know what I'm playing. They just saw Mishra's Bobble. That could be 8 cast, so, yeah. They mulligan the 6. I'm going to mulligan this hand, too. It's just, I think, really bad. I'm going to keep this. Um, probably send away the second DRC. And looks like opponent also kept six. All right, let's go. There's a Badlands. There's a Thoughtseize. Okay, so guessing I'm correct here. Uh, so they take days. So it is, I think it is uh, Black Red. All right. Uh, you want to be doing something else here? Okay. Uh, probably I'm not going to say no to Thoughtseize here. I watched them have like three copies of Gristlebrand. I think I actually do get the Badlands here so I'm able to play uh, DRC next turn. Uh, actually, hang on. Do I bobble them to know what they're drawing? So... If they have Entomb, then this plan doesn't really work, but... Okay, so they're drawing a re reanimate. Okay. Let's, uh, let's thought seize. Okay. So... Basically, this is an easy pick Entomb, I think. Okay, so... We know they won't be doing anything next turn. Uh, second Merc Tide. Not the best. Alright. Kind of want to land. A land would be grand. Nope, no land. But we do get this, and would you look at this graveyard, huh? Four cards, four card types. Alright, just please don't put Archon of Cruelty into play right now. That's all I'm asking. And then, eventually, I'll also be asking for another land, but you know. Yay! Okay. So, I'm, I'm not going to play Delver here. I'm going to keep open Bowmasters. Um, that will sort of let me play a little bit around Archon of Cruelty, but obviously not going to lie that if they get an Archon, I'm going to be sad. Unmask you. That's a problem. I even boarded out my uh, Brazen Borrower and my the other thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, you get a 5-6 thing. Oh, and are you, if I just had it, like, even a daze. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. Daze wouldn't have done this. Was the, the reanimate was pitched. Okay. So that's what happened. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cast the Bowmasters. So what do we need to have? 
happen here. It's like to draw a land, or like draw a cantrip which finds a land, and then we can like get a Merktide into play. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's sacrifice a creature. I'll sacrifice the army. And let's discard a Merktide. And then they draw and we get another army. Ah, oh, this is so bad. Okay, you can entomb. Another creature. Does this matter? Oh yeah, actually, hang on. This does matter. This can, uh, now we can chump block. Or not chump block, I mean trade. This is actually not even that bad. Oh no wait, it is, it is terrible. Ah, I forgot I have to attack with this stupid thing. Arrgh. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, look at me. So, yeah, no, uh, I, now I have to, I, I even lose my Delver, my uh, Merktide. Yeah, I think I just uh, shame concede here. I mean, they are dealing me eight. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's concede. I don't think I'm beating the, uh, the Archon there. Disappointing. But we were at least correct about the read here. So I did really, I did basically sideboard. Do I like be results biased here and put back a uh, a brazen borrower? Yeah, maybe. Let's lose the second, or rather the third lightning bolt. Okay. Some interaction. Some interaction. Yeah. I mean, Black Red Reanimator can quite handily play through a single piece of interaction, but uh, I'm not going to send away the, uh, the threat plus disruption hand. Opponent also kept seven, so yeah, let's make a game of it. So I suppose what I really want to see here is like faithless looting. Boo! Why don't you get the uh, get the dual land, friend? Friendo. Uh, oh, this is so hard. So if they like thought seizes off of this, then I'm gonna regret not forcing here. But if they like. I don't know. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, well, I mean, I'm gonna... Um, I've lost now, I think, but I'm gonna get the surveil and not show them that they're looking at three lands. Let's, uh... Let's keep that on top. If somehow we get through this turn, which we probably won't, then, like, days might be decent. Yep, yep, yep. Entomb, and they will be sitting on reanimate or uh, something. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. All right, GGs. That is it. Game over. So, I mean, if I force of will that dark ritual or force of negation, then unless their last two cards in hand are like. Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual for the absolute nuts, then I think we just, we, I don't know if we win, but I mean, at least we get to, to fight uh, some more, right? So that's obviously uh, a bit of a bummer, but interestingly enough, they could have just led on the Odd Mask, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's interesting to lead on the Dark Ritual, if you're going to unmask anyways, like it, that, it's just it, it's just an interesting thing to ponder. But anyways, 
Uh, GG's opponent. Alright, well, this obviously didn't turn out, uh, the, um, uh, turn out uh, the way I, I had hoped, but, um, I was, there were some good games, some weird games. I think, uh, just thinking back now, the round one, uh, match against that, uh, Demir Wasteland 8-cast deck was, was kind of weird, and I did kind of feel like my opponent maybe that their heart was, wasn't in it, or I, I don't know, like, if you understand what I'm getting at, but, like, they did concede quite swiftly in the, the, the matches, uh, in the games, and... Uh, there were, were some unfortunate mulligans for both me and my opponents at various stages, and I think, like, the blue-black, the, the Death Shadow matchup was was interesting, and it would have been cool if the, if the third game, the deciding game, hadn't... if I hadn't mulliganed to five there, if we'd been able to make a little bit more of a fist of it, but eh, it is what it is. I think the Badlands kind of hurt me, at least in one game, um, where, like, if it's, like... Eh, yeah, if, if if it's not Badlands, but like third or f like fourth underground sea or fourth volcanic, then I'm probably more happy. But not sure if that's reason enough to s to make make that swap. But I think like all in all, uh, the deck was cool. The deck did like did did what it's supposed to do in in, in certain matchups, and and yeah, you can lose against the ones we lost to, and and yeah, I don't know. I, I like this deck. I am I still enjoy sort of like learning the whole tempo thing a bit more. Um, and yeah, so like if you like what you saw and if you uh, want to hang around and see some more, then please consider subscribing. Um, yeah, just want to thank you for watching. I'll be back with some more Legacy. Bye bye. Yeah.